Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about two brand new releases from Charlotte Tilbury. I have here her new powder called the Charlotte's Genius Magic Powder for Under Eye and Face, as well as her new concealer, which is called the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. But on top of that, I received this beautiful package from Charlotte Tilbury, and I want to do like a full face tutorial using as much Charlotte as I possibly can also demoing both of these products and then I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on these at the end. And yes, I have used these a few times. I was able to play with them in store before they actually released at Nordstrom, which is where I purchased them. But before I get into all of this face, I'm going to give you guys the information on both of these because all of the other products are products that you guys have seen before. So I'm going to start off with the powder. The shade I got in the powder is number one fair. I'm going to show you guys a little picture that I took inside the store. There's three different shades. One is a fair pink. There's a yellow that will still work on me, but I liked the fair pink better. And then a bronzier shade. You can actually use that bronzy shade all over, like if you're my complexion for a bronzer, and it is so stunning. I saw it applied and stored, and I was like, oh my gosh. Now, I originally was not going to purchase this powder because of the cornstarch in here. I don't need to get into it. I can't use cornstarch, but when I saw this, I was like, oh my god that's one of the most beautiful powders i've ever seen i always tempted to buy the deeper shade to bronze with but i was like no mel no you need to wait i'm gonna <laughs> this might be something that i keep on trying just to see if i do break out from it but let me go ahead and get into the details and yes i purchased this this was not sent to me there's an entire book here <laughs> so i'm gonna put it on screen so you guys can see everything about it i just want to read a little portion of it it says Charlotte's Genius Powder in shade One Fair. The description at the top is going to change a little bit depending on which shade you get, but shade One Fair is a revolutionary light diffusing loose powder for fair skin with ingredients to help blur imperfections, visibly reduce the appearance of dark shadows, and boost radiance for mattified, smoother looking skin. When you touch this powder, oh my god, it is such a silky texture, but it doesn't make your skin overly radiant or overly matte, and there's no glitters. So it leaves a sheen to the skin, but it's skin-like, not glittery. So just in case anybody's wondering. It retails for $45, and you're getting 13 grams of product. Now on to the concealer. The shade that I picked up is the shade Four. This is the Magic Wand of Makeup for Perfect Look looking skin. Magic Away Concealer in 4 Fair is an incredible full coverage liquid concealer in a warm beige for light skin with all undertones. For five years, Charlotte Tilbury has been working on this holy grail of concealers that reduces the appearance of dark circles, blemishes, and imperfections for fresher looking second skin instantly. All right, so what I'm going to do is talk you through this tutorial right here, this full face. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on the powder and the concealer. So I started off with my skincare routine and I used the Charlotte's Magic Cream. And there's this funny story about this because <laughs> I always wanted to buy it, but it wasn't something I wanted to use for my skincare every single day. So I would get samples of this. At the, I'm, I'm, I'm human, you guys. <laughs> but I would get samples of this and I would use it when I needed my skin to look just better if my skin looked dull or I needed a little something extra I would use this and it, the reason behind how this even started was because a girl well not a girl one of the account managers at Mac came in one day and she looked amazing I was like what is different about you and she said it's Charlotte's magic cream I was like no way and I tried it and it's so true. So I started off with this as my moisturizer, let it sink in, and then I'm going in with my foundation. For my foundation, I mixed together the Makeup Forever Ultra HD and then a little bit of the Wonder Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. You can use this as a base as well, 
or on top, but because I am combo and I was using the Magic Cream, I didn't want to also put this on top, so I just mixed them in together and applied it with my Sonia Kashuk sponge. Then I went in with the concealer. I did have to click this up a few times to get it to start, and then I just tapped it underneath my eyes and then dabbed it out with a smaller Sonia Kashuk sponge. And as you can see with the close-up, it looks so nice, hydrated, and so smooth. For my under eyes, I went ahead and set with my Huda Beauty baking powder. And the reason I did that is because I have tried this underneath my eyes. It looks great right up underneath my eyes, but because of the little bit of luminosity in here, I don't love it to set my pore. So I went ahead and set like I normally would underneath my eyes, and then I set the rest of my face with this powder and my Sonia Kashuk large powder brush. This feels like skin. It looks like skin. It's not overly matte and it's not overly radiant. So this is something that you're going to be able to use for both setting the makeup or buffing or if you want to use it for both like I did today. It literally feels like almost nothing is on your skin. It is absolutely beautiful. After that I went in with the Filmstar Bronze and Glow in the shade Light. She did send one of these to me. However, I already had one one, so I didn't want to open up the one she sent. So I took this shade and my 127 from Zoeva and I just used it kind of as a bronzer contour. And then I went in with the First Love Blusher. Now this is one, again, I already had in my collection. She sent over Love is the Drug. And this is beautiful, but I felt like because of the eye and everything that I was doing, that this was going to be just a little bit too cool toned. So I wanted to go in with something just a little bit more neutral. So I have not played with this one yet but I mean her blushes are beautiful. I was considering going in with the Bar of Gold highlighting palette because you guys know that this is one of my absolute favorites but I thought let's keep it a little softer today a little bit more on the natural side so I went back into the bronze and glow and went in with the highlight and just highlighted my cheekbones and a little bit on my nose and Cupid's bow and then we went back in and buffed with the magic powder and I just think it looks so pretty. It's not as radiant as like the Sicily. So if you're wanting something that maybe doesn't have like the sparkle in it or anything like that, this is definitely a good option. For my eyes, I actually went ahead, zoomed you guys in and did a tutorial, but I used the Dolce Vita palette. Again, this is another one that I already had in my collection, so I didn't open the one that she sent over. This is actually my favorite of all the ones I have tried thus far. I am so looking forward to that Pillow Talk palette oh my gosh that's going to be mine as soon as it comes out but I'm gonna stop here I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys see the tutorial for this and I will be right back Zoeva 227 in the shade enhance I'm going to take this on the outer V first get some of the pigment off of the brush work it into the crease and then slowly buff it upward because not only is this going to be my lid shade but it's also going to be my crease shade. I'm basically just going to blow this all out over the eye. I'm taking that same shade on a MAC 221 and I'm going to buff it right along the lower lash line. Same shade in a MAC 239, I'm going to apply this all over the lid, just using tapping motions to press it in. Taking that 227 and just buffing just a little bit more in the crease, just to smoke it up a little bit, basically just deepening it. Delium 763 and I'm applying smoke right at the lash line. I don't want this to be too dark so I'm kind of diffusing it. I'm taking that glittery pop shade and I'm just going to press it on the lid. I don't want this to be super opaque. I just want to add a little something something. And then to finish off the look, I'm taking the very first shade on a MAC 242 and popping that on the inner corner. 
and the brow arch and then I'm going to go ahead and add on my mascara and I will put a little bit of black liner on my inner rim just up top. All right, to finish off the look, all I did was add a little bit of black liner only to the top inner rim, nowhere else. And then I went in with the full fat lashes from Charlotte Tilbury. For the lips, I went ahead off camera and filled in my lips with the Pillow Talk liner. I have never used this liner before, so I'm very glad that this was in my package. Kind of filled them in, and then I went in with a Pillow Talk lipstick. This, again, I already had in my collection. I don't want to sound like I'm ungrateful. I'm just already a fan of Charlotte Tilbury, so I just hope it doesn't come across that way. And then I wanted to go ahead and add a little bit of a shine because Pillow Talk is a matte formula, and then Kim KW has more of that sheen. And I thought it softened it up a bit, and I really like the outcome of the entire makeup look. It's like has a little bit of edge to it, but still very wearable and still kind of soft. Like the eyes are slightly dramatic without being over the top. Okay, so now for my thoughts. I am so depressed that this has cornstarch in it because <sighs> this is one of the prettiest powders I've ever seen. And I'm not just saying that. Like I said, I originally had not planned on purchasing the powder because I was like, it's another one that I'm not going to be able to use. But we were getting training on it in Nordstrom and I felt it and I was like, oh my God. Oh my god and I just like I had I put it on right then and there knowing it had cornstarch in it I was like let me have it okay so I need to know do I need the light fit one or do I need the yellow one I was going back and forth and I was asking everybody and I again settled on the lighter pink shade but this is so 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 stunning it feels so smooth it, it's gorgeous I mean I cannot say enough good things about this powder it does have not a, it's not a fragrance and they told us the reason behind this i don't want to like misquote but from my understanding they used healthier ingredients so it almost has a sl it's almost slightly like crayon but it's because it's better for your skin there's no like doesn't smell like artificial flowers or anything like that but i do want to mention that that smell is there and not to be alarmed because it's better for your skin <laughs> So if you're considering the powder, cornstarch doesn't bother you. You want something right in between, radiant, skin-like, but not glittery. That thing is stunning, you guys. And then for the concealer, this is the coolest thing. Like, So it has the little twist up, and I don't want to waste it because I'm going to end up using this. This is so neat. So the texture of it is slightly thick, but then it blends out to be thinner. And it feels like, I don't know, like it doesn't become patchy. It blends out like no other concealer I have ever felt. Like you know when you blend out a concealer and then it can kind of get dry in some spots or be a little patchy. This blends out like nothing else. And it, I, I don't know how to how to describe it. I have no idea how to describe it. And you don't need to set this if you don't want to. The luminosity stays there. Your under eye does not end up looking dry. Like I can let this dry on my hand and it's still going to have that luminosity to it and look so skin like. I wore it the other day and I mean it looks amazing. Like this is going to be something that I definitely continue to use. I want to mention that even with the Huda powder, even with baking, my under eyes still don't look dry. And that is amazing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys didn't mind the tutorial in between. Let me know what you think about the products. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.